In this video, we're going to go over something fun that I found from this particular article regarding rich field labels in flow screens. So I have a screen flow here and I'm going to click debug as the first item so that you can see I've already done one of the items and it's in bold red and 18 point type. So now let's do another of the field labels. I'm going to create a new resource and my resource will be a text template. I will just name it test three as my text template. And you start out as rich text and I'm going to put test label three as my label. I'm going to make this one green and make it 20 point type. I know that's a little bit large and bold it as well. And after you view it as rich text and you have it, then change it over to plain text and control C that item. I'm going to click done. And the reason I'm going to click done is in that particular article, you could put in all of that syntax and everything in the label or, or as I have found out, I can actually put this item, which I'm creating as the default value just so I can call up that variable and copy and paste it. I will take that variable out as the default. Click Save. Now let's debug this and see if that works again. And it's not giving me the color like it did over here. So let me go back and look at my text templates, my rich label, aha. That is still plain text, and I have that color red. I'm going to go back here as well. And it looks like it might have never changed the color. So I'm going to highlight this again, change the color. It is green. Okay. And that's still the same label. And now it is green. So originally it didn't save it in green, but now that I redid it and checked the color, it is now green and that 20 point type, which is helpful in a screen flow compared to the small labels that is typically out of the box.